2018 Chevrolet Suburban front brake replacement. We will be compressing the front caliper. Before we do that, we need to remove um, the reservoir cap so that uh, the pressure doesn't build up. It will spill everywhere. I take it off. This procedure applies to Silverados, Tahoe, sub, um, Suburban, GMC, Yukon. Um, it's the same procedure. They all have the same front brakes pretty much. So I'm going to use a screwdriver and insert it right here so I can compress the caliper. I don't have to do it too much, just a little bit so I can get some movement. And I'm going to compress it later with another tool. But I can use this, this screwdriver for now for this. So before end, we only need to remove this C30. It's a retainer. To do that, I'm going to do it by hand. So I'll put um, the screwdriver there so that it doesn't move that much. So here is my C30. I'm going to put it right there. Just for reference, those bolts can be pretty tight, so you need to put pressure on them to remove it. And do not use an empire driver to remove it neither, because it will be a bad day. Trust me. That one was not too tight, so it's not bad. It is loose. So, the brake caliper is held by um, a 19mm right here for the caliper, and a 19 19 mm right here, 18 millimeter for the caliper bracket. So let's break them free. All right. I use um, a half inch with a swivel and a 19 mil. It works perfect, but you can use hand tools also. It will be perfectly fine. That's the caliper bolt. The caliper free. Don't leave it hanging on the hose, so I'll just put it on top right here. I use bungee cord. So it doesn't, I don't let it hanging on the hose. I use what you got to hold it in place. So let's remove those 90 mil back there for the caliper bracket. So here is the caliper bracket. Here is the thing I'm paying attention to. Those brake pads wear out evenly, which is a good sign, meaning this is doing a job and that's, that's not too dirty. They're moving freely. I thought that one's a little bit frozen, but it's not too bad. They wear out evenly. I'm going to remove those hardware so I'm getting new ones. And I'll be cleaning those so when I put the new hardware on, it will sit flush with the brick caliper bracket. And I'll be greasing those um, um, those pins so they can move freely. Also, we have the, uh, the, the brick wood that's still on the hub and it is pretty tight so I'm gonna use a hammer like this so I can get it off when you hit it make sure you don't hit those those um, studs that will be another, another bad thing too <laughs> to get them off we are in the worst belt so let's give it a try all right guys after a couple of hit it came out so there you go and we'll also clean the hub for it to make sure the new water sits flush with the hub. Take those little those rust with the best you can. Also, we're going to be using this brush here to clean um, where the hardware sits. Alright. As you can see, guys, it is pretty clean now. We're going to put the new hardware on. Well, now I'm gonna grease those pens and don't forget to add a little bit of grease here, so on um on the surface where the weight pad is rubbed on. We are about to clean the weight hub with this. The cookie wheel. Don't forget to put your safety glasses on.
much better guys much much better there you go upper IU much better and here is the port number for the brake pads here and that's the brake you know, the port number for the brake holders I'm about to clean it up right now remember guys those brake holders have a coating for like, the wash protection you need to clean it up with with uh, soap and water or with brake cleaners it work perfectly fine with soap and water good I'll flip it on the other side so I can clean it up too same thing on the other side there you go this is it, um, the, the brake retaining um, bolt I'll put it in Perfect. Good. As you guys can see, I'm compressing the caliper piston here. I use the old brake pad and my caliper compressing tool. I see blueprint. I got it from Snap On Truck. I compress it evenly. That's why I had you guys remove um, the reservoir cap for the master cylinder so it doesn't leak fluid everywhere. So I compress uh, the piece all the way in and I'll be greasing it, the brake pads and um and that'll be it guys. It's just uh, the reverse of the removal process. Nothing too complicated guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you. Bye bye.